one, complete the changes in concentrations for each of the following reactions. And then we have this equation right here. So we have magnesium phosphate, which is Mg3PO42 solid. This will dissociate or yield into its ions. Three Mg2 plus aqueous plus two PO4 three minuses. So two phosphates and three magnesiums. Now, before we start this one, I just want to say, I believe that there's a little typo here since we got it from a, a textbook. I just want to say that this should not be X. This should be 2X. So I'm going to answer this question as if the two should have been there. Now, the reason why I know this is because whenever you're trying to find the changes in concentrations, you always look for the mole ratio, the coefficients. And the coefficients are always coming from the big numbers in front of your balanced equation, right? So there's three Mg2 pluses for every two phosphates. You will always change in concentration based off of what your uh, value is or the coefficient number is in the front because it goes by a mole ratio. So if this changes by two times a variable or a number, what would this magnesium change by? Well, it's got to change by X, right? Because we don't know the actual number, so we label it X. But would this be a 1X, a 2X, a 3X, et cetera, et cetera? Well, it always comes from the coefficient. Since I have three magnesiums, this would have to change by 3X. And just like we said before, since you had two phosphates, this has to have been a 2X value. And those are your answers to this problem. Easy as that, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I believe there's one more uh, for this letter, and then we're moving on for this number, right? Number one. And then we're moving on to another number. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.